2012, 2012 is only a year away. So we're still going to be pretty much working with the same platforms and the same tools that we have now. Uh, I don't see radical changes happening. Uh, you know, we have Google Plus will mature, Facebook will continue to grow, Twitter won't go away yet, we'll be still using YouTube. So I think we can count on those things and some new things will come up as well. But where the puck is going to be increasingly is going to be a much greater penetration of mobile, much greater penetration of rich media, use of the location uh, devices, use of multiple things on single devices. So there will be a, a constant growth, an inexorable growth in what we're using now. And then uh, I think many of those companies that currently aren't even thinking about mobile will find themselves completely left behind in 2012 as mobile moves closer to becoming the first screen. The way we communicated with people before had to do more with broadcasting and throwing seed out and hoping it would land somewhere. Now, in the new world where information and people and things are all connected in a digital network, the way that we reach people is going to have to change to account for the fact that people are going to listen to different channels, different people, different sources. And something like mass advertising will just continue to lose its appeal. Whereas influential people in a certain domain are going to grow their influence because they can now reach people without anybody else's help. You can launch a channel on YouTube and you can have viewers and you can bring forth something of value. And if you're able to do that and actually gain an audience, you now have a tribe. And so a lot of what's going to happen now with marketing is being able to help build or reach these tribes of people that are creating their own niches, their own communities. Right now, things are a mess online because we can fake out a lot of stuff. So you can set up a fake email account, you can have a fake ID, you can set up a fake Twitter account. And that's been going on for years and that will continue. Uh, Google Plus is breaking that mold now because they are insisting that you have a real single identity. And the future of being able to do any kind of relationship management, customer management, social contact management is going to be having some sort of fixed digital identity that can move from platform and platform to purpose to purpose. And there will be resistance to this. There will be a lot of privacy issues around it. But until we have a single digital ID, essentially a personal IP address, there will be limits to how much personalization, how much we can really get done in communicating. And I think it's an inevitable step, just as social security numbers have been used to identify people personally and fingerprints, that we're going to have a digital fingerprint that will then carry through everything we do.